Hey all, here are OS Reviews. So over the past two years, we've checked out a number of portable monitors that can be helpful for multitasking on a laptop, and also if you want to connect it to a smartphone, especially one that has a desktop mode. However, the design of this one is a little more clever, especially if you plan on using it exclusively for a laptop, because it has this sliding rail mechanism that can attach using magnets onto the back of a laptop. So instead of having to stand on its own kickstand or taking up extra space next to your computer, it can be popped out and then popped back in. In fact, if adding just a second display is not enough, they even have a trio addition, which basically adds two displays. The good news is if you don't want to always attach it onto the laptop, it can still be removed since it's held into place magnetically. In fact, you can even reverse it so it can be sitting on the outside of your laptop and have a dual display this way, or even completely removed and just popped onto a kickstand. Specs of the display though are pretty typical. It is a full HD 1080p 60Hz panel. So originally this was a project that was on Kickstarter it was very successful, raising over a million dollars, and so now it's officially available via Amazon and their website. A normal monitor with these specs would sell on Amazon for around 200 bucks, but you are paying a premium here of about a hundred dollars more just for that convenience of that sliding design. So there is a gyroscope built on in that can detect the orientation and flip by itself. Otherwise, it's not a touchscreen monitor, so that is one feature that is omitted, which I would like to see them maybe add as an option in the future. Uh, otherwise, inside here we do have a quick QR code that you can scan to watch the tutorial of how to set it up and then on the inside here there's also a quick template that tells you there's some magnets holding on it which essentially we can remove from the monitor's case and uh, stick these using the 3M tape onto the back of your laptop so that it can then adhere to the monitor. Other accessories including just a quick user guide which does also provide a few extra 3M stickers in case you have to remove them, they lose their stickiness and you want to attach it onto a new computer. And it is worth noting that the origami kickstand that we saw in the ads, there is a separate accessory that you would have to pick up. The entire monitor here is very lightweight. On the edge here, we just have two type C ports and here's what the back looks like. So there is a slight hump towards the bottom section here, but it tries to be symmetrical with the other side so it doesn't wobble if you set it down. Otherwise, we also have a few controls on the back which you can use to change things like the brightness and when you're ready to kind of use it you can kind of pull it outwards like this and the good news is underneath they are reinforcing it with some aluminum and metal so it does feel reasonably sturdy and then on the other side of course we can now see the monitor itself which would then be adjustable in terms of its angle and when you're done you can just snap it back into place it folds 180 degrees so if I wanted to you can also go into the aforementioned uh, reverse mode just by folding it this way and now I can basically have a second monitor uh, that is on the back and let someone on the other side see whatever is mirrored on your display if you're giving a presentation for example. It is a matte display so it's not quite as glossy as glass which is good. It means it's not going to be quite as easy to glare. Installation is super fast taking just about a minute. Basically you can use this alignment card and make sure you set it up so it's at least facing towards the edge on one side so that when you extend out the monitor it's not going to be too short for it to fold. So afterwards you can just lift it away for the template. This is kind of what it's going to look like if you have the monitor detached, just a few extra magnets stuck onto the top. But again these are just 3M tapes that can be pretty easily removed and now we can just pop it on. So it kind of just snaps into place by itself, aligning itself uh, easily onto the monitor, doesn't wiggle very strong magnets. It definitely adds still some thickness, but again, in a backpack or a suitcase, shouldn't be too big of an issue. And otherwise, again, feels surprisingly locked in, but it still is just magnets, meaning that if I really want it to, I can still remove the entire thing and uh, put it separately. For the most part, the hinge of the laptop is still good enough to support the weight of this extra monitor and seems to stay in place without too many issues. You will have this cable that gets plugged into your computer, either using Type-C or USB Type-A. The sliding mechanism also acts as an auto on and off function. So right now it's turned off, but when I slide it out, you'll see that it will begin to turn on here and then begin to mirror the display here just in a second. So that is pretty neat, the fact that you can just very easily turn it on and off without having to tap on anything or even unplug the cables, and it's smart enough to know when it needs to switch and consume power. Here is what it looks like with it fully extended. Again, it does have an auto rotation sensor or accelerometer built into the monitor itself. So if you flip the orientation, or if you want to prefer having the second display on the other side of your laptop, it will know that. And we can also, of course, adjust and fold the angle inwards to make it feel a little 
bit more comfortable and immersive, especially if you're tighter on space or you want to glance and move your neck a little bit less. You can definitely play around with this and it works exactly as advertised. So right now I have the displays just duplicated, so whatever I'm doing here on the primary one will be shown on the secondary and show the same thing, but of course if you wanted to actually do multitasking, it would make more sense to extend the display. So under settings on any Windows or Mac OS device, you can easily just toggle around with those settings. It's pretty much just plug and play. Now we have it fully extended, I can drag it over to the second screen, pop it over, do something else on this display, and more easily multitask, open up a browser window, do something else like a PowerPoint, make it easier just to do two things at once without having to hop around as much. Alternatively, let's try out the mode where we want to fold the display completely flat. Still works completely fine. In fact, it's awesome. So I can do whatever I need to on the other side, give a presentation, open a PPT, and the person that's sitting in front of you can also see what you're trying to share. In a way, you don't even need to remove it from the laptop. You can just use this as a kickstand to kind of hold up the display. Just unhook the Type-C cable from the laptop and then plug it into whatever you need to next. For example, an iPad, a tablet, or a smartphone. And in most cases, it will just be recognized as a second monitor and can be in this, again, pretty nice position. You can see the orientation there just flip. So the display itself doesn't have a built-in speaker of its own. So you still have to play back sound from your computer or your phone, but that's just a minor note. Otherwise, the Display quality itself is quite good, by the way, so it offers pretty vibrant looking colors, especially for an IPS LCD screen, and since it is IPS, it means that viewing angles are very good. No issues in terms of looking at it from different sides, and you can see how colors are still retained, nothing is too funky, and overall, pretty good brightness as well if you want to kind of view it under a little bit of sunlight. It's not going to be, I would say, the brightest screen in the world, but still is sufficient in most environments that I've used it with. Again, the matte display meaning that I doesn't really attract too much glare even if you're pointing at the light and here's a demo of the accelerometer in action so we can flip the screen and you can see how everything here will auto rotate and you'll have the ability to change things like contrast level saturation color temperature uh, there's also an eye care mode that turns off the blue light so you can make it colder or warmer so that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the mobile pixels Duke's Plus portable laptop monitor. Again, this is all about that interesting design with that flexible hinge and use of clever magnets, which can make it feel a bit more consolidated in terms of the experience. It's not just sitting on the side, but just attaches onto the laptop itself for easy on the go use. So anyways, you can also find this in a variety of other sizes, by the way. So if you don't like this 13.3 inches, also comes in an even smaller 12.5 inch model, as well as larger 14 inch versions. So if interested, you can check out more details in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.